Take your time very slowly and find yourself in child pose. Go your knees and hands and keep your knees hip distance apart. Hands under your shoulders, shoulder distance apart. And very slowly sit down on your heels to child pose. And you don't have to rush anywhere. You don't have to try to touch the sitting bones to your heels yet. Just allow yourself to be present in this moment and allow yourself to find what's happening here. The child pose is resting pose, relaxing pose, but can challenge so many. And especially in the beginning of the class, because your knee is not stretched yet, the lower back is not released yet, your body is not really warm. So allow yourself to find the moment. And you don't have to change much anything, just appreciate to your breath. And notice to your breath what's happened when you're inhaling and exhaling. Because the thigh is touching your chest, your rib cage. You're not able to open your front of the body much with your breathing. So take deeper breath to entire body as much as you can. Inhale. Open your mouth wide and exhale out on your mat. And again. Inhale to entire body as much as you can. Open your mouth and exhale out on your mat. Squeeze your navel to the spine, squeeze your ribs, squeeze your legs together. Inhale to the belly, but you cannot inhale to your belly, so you probably inhale to your back. And exhale out, release. So listen carefully. Bring your knees together. So now the knees touching, and then sit down on your heels again and you really squeezing the front of your body. Try to inhale to your belly. That way you're gonna feel the diaphragm expand the ribcage a little bit more. And as you exhale out, let it go. And again, try to inhale to your belly. Because you're squeezing your belly, you're really extending your ribcage. And exhale out. Squeeze your navel to the spine, squeeze your core a lot, inhale and exhale out. Excellent. Now very slowly go to tabletop, knees and hands, hands under your shoulders, shoulder with distance apart, knees under your hips, hip distance apart. Keep the neck long, extend, and open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades back, push your chest up and forward, and then keep your chin pointing forward and sit down on your heels to child pose. You might find out that you can sit even deeper than before. Maybe extend your arms farther and then go back to tabletop. Keep your back flat for a moment and then relax your head, relax your table. So lay the spine so the table pointing to the ground and round your upper body like a cat. Press the mat away strongly with your arms, round your upper body straight, your elbows. Keep your elbows straight and strong to not hang on your shoulders or your wrists. Press the mat away. The elbows straighten, actually save your joints. Then open your chest to cow. And sit down on your heels to child pose. And you're gonna repeat this few more rounds. Round your back to cat. Open your chest to cow. And sit down on your heels to child pose. Close your eyes, so you're not gonna be distracted by others you do with your own flow, with your own body. any additional movement with your shoulders, with your pelvis, go ahead. If this feels good, 
the sides of your body, maybe on your joints. Make sure you keep them stuck in the joint socket so you don't really pop up anything or dislocate anything. Elbows up, chin up, standing up. Stand up nice and tall. Push your hips forward. Circle your arms to the sky. Make slight back bend. Open your chest. Reach your arms farther back up. Push your hips forward. Legs strong. Hands to your heart center. Sama Stiti even standing. Bring the big toes to touch. Heels slightly open if they're not there yet. Squeeze your legs together. Inner rotate your thighs. Push your hips forward. Squeeze your legs. Legs are strong. Place your hands on the top of the glutes, fingers up, down, or make fists. Support your lower back. Keep the legs stronger and stronger, pressing to the ground. Squeeze your shoulder blades and elbows back together. Keep your knees straight. Stronger your knees are, the more you're using your quads. Squeeze your legs. Push your feet down, keep your quads super strong, so you're not using your lower back. Place your hands on the sternum. Squeeze in. That's it. Awesome. 
Come back to neutral spine. Hands by your sides, palms facing forward, Tadasana. Lift your arms to the sky, reach them to the sky, extend your fingers, release your left arm on the side, keep your chin away from your chest and lean to your left. Extend your right fingers, stab your right shoulder to the shoulder socket, extend your fingers, press your right foot, knees are straight. Come back to the center, both arms out, squeeze your quads, the muscles above the knees, and release your right arm on the side, lean to the right. Extend your left arm, relax your shoulders, extend your neck, reach your fingers to your right. Come back to the center, neutral spine, lift your arms high up, lift your heels if you're ready for more. Find the steady balance of the balls of the feet. Exhale out, forward fold, heels down or up. Halfway, look forward, inhale. Exhale, release. Walk your hands forward to plank or tabletop. Hands under your shoulders, shoulder with distance apart. Press your toes, shift entire body forward, look forward. Leg the spine, erectus. This is your spinal muscle, which is really long and make the spine long. Shift the entire body forward. Lower your chest and stomach on the ground. Hands by your waistline. Squeeze your core, extend your legs. Cobra, press the floor away, open your chest, squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades together, lift your chest a little bit higher, and release down. Sit down on your heels to child pose. Extend your arms farther forward, round your back to cat. Open your chest to cow. Tuck your toes under, bar pose, bow, bear pose. Down dog, sitting bones high up, chest closer to your thighs. Bring your chest closer to your thighs, sitting bones higher. Walk your hands to your feet to forward bend on the back of the mat. Find yourself forward fold on the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway, look forward. Exhale, release. Press your feet to the ground, circle your arms to the sky, open your chest, push your hips forward, cactus back, then squeeze your shoulder blades back. Open your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit more, elbows to the back of the ribcage. Lift your arms to the sky, in neutral spine, extend your sides of your body, release your left arm on the side, knee to the left. If you like more, extend your right foot to the right, maybe those touching the ground, maybe above the ground. Come back to the center, both arms up. Release your right arm on the side, lean to the right. Press inside the right sole of the foot, so you extend your left leg. Press your left fingers, left leg. And come back to the center, both arms up. Lift your arms, lift your heels if you're ready for more. Exhale out, forward fall. Halfway, look forward, inhale. Exhale, release. Walk your hands forward to plank or tabletop. Shift entire body forward, neck is extending, neck is your spine. Lower your sternum and stomach on the ground. Cobra or up dog, press the floor away, squeeze your shoulder blades back, open your heart. And child pose or down dog right away. Fine, if you feel if you want to. And 
exhale, release. Walk your hands forward to plank or tabletop. Push the entire body forward. Lower your chest and stomach on the ground, cobra or abdominal. dog, open your chest. And again, go to child pose or down dog. If you go to child pose, meet us in down dog. Try from your hips, walk forward to find yourself on the top of your mat. Give your legs strong, forward, forehead to the ground. Find the front of the mat and not middle of the mat. Keep walking, keep walking. Keep your feet forward until you find the forefront. So feet meeting this way. Inhale, halfway look forward. Exhale out, fold. Press your feet to the ground, circle your arms to the sky, open your chest. Push your hips forward, cactus backward if you wish, open your heart. Come back to neutral spine, lift your arms high up. Lift your left heel off the ground. And twist your torso to the left. Put your left arm back, right arm forward. Left knee pointing to the front and keep open your arms. Squeeze your legs to the middle line. Extend your fingers, not hanging them like that fish. You keep them active. Look forward, maybe lift your left knee. And twist your torso, lift your arms to the sky. Left foot on the ground. And lift your right heel. Twist your torso to your right. Put your right arm back, left arm forward. Extend your fingers active, but keep them relaxed at the same time. Squeeze your legs to the middle line. Squeeze like you're squeezing in the groin. Very nice. Maybe lift your knee higher, not necessary. If you like to, you feel stable. Look forward. And twist your torso, lift your arms, lower right foot. Inhale, maybe lift your heels if you're ready for more. And exhale out, forward fold. Look forward halfway. Exhale out, fold. Step your right foot far, far back to ground as lunge. Keep your fingers framing left heel. You can place your hands on the mat or on the mat. Keep your right leg strong and straight. Extend the neck. Lifting right heel higher, allow you to squeeze your quads a little bit more. Right knees off the ground. Hands framing left heel, never in front of the left foot. Standing left heel, never in front of the left foot. Straight any way leg as much as you can. Left hand on your left hip. Reach your left arm to the sky to twist. Plank or tabletop, you can go to down dog, child pose, or do vanyasa flow. As now, do as many vanyasa flow as you like. Right hand to the sky. 
the sides, step your left foot forward to forward fold. Strong. Press your feet to the ground, circle your arms to the sky, and open your chest, push your hips forward, open your heart, maybe cut this back when you wish, and go back to neutral spine, take your arms higher, hands to your heart center, Samastiti, lift your arms to the sky, forward fold, exhale out, halfway, look forward, exhale out, fold. Step your left foot far, far back to runner's lunge. Right knee is bent and lower left knee on the ground this time. Slide your left leg farther, farther back. So right knee is keeping great angle, fantastic. And try to relax your pelvis as much as you can. And extend your neck. Keep your fingers where they are and push your pelvis back to the split. So straight your front leg. Length the spine, length the neck. Keep your fingers where they are. Step your right foot in between your hands. Support. 
the side to high lunge. Soften your left knee, reach your arms farther back, press the front of the foot to the ground tremendously so you feel the strength in your legs squeezing toward each other. Let your arms higher in head. Twist your toes to the right, right arm back, left arm forward. Extend your right arm back, extend your left arm forward. Keep the twist. Lean forward, left elbow side the right thigh, bone revolving side angle. If this too much, place your left hand inside the right foot. Took the twist like we did before. Palms together, extend your neck, look forward. Extend your right arm back, left arm forward, thunder. And lower left hand inside the right foot, lower right hand inside the right foot, straighten your both legs, extend the pyramid lizard. Sitting goes higher. And walk your hands to your left to wide open forward fold. Relax your head down, sitting bones higher to straight your both legs. Bring your toes closer than your heels. You can use the blood under your fingers if you need to, to make sure the legs are straight. Side B, let your left leg up. 
left knee to your chest. Step your left foot in between your hands. Press your left foot forward a lot so you feel the stable balance in between your legs. Hands on your left thigh bone. Soften your right knee, lift your arms to the sky. Press your left foot forward down so you lift your arms higher back. Both arms to the sky. Make sure your left knee pressing on the ground, not your toes, so you're not using joints. Step your left foot forward a little bit more. Squeeze your core, lift your arms higher. Twist your torso to your left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Extend your arms, length the spine, squeeze your core. Revolving side angle, right elbow inside the thigh bone. If it's too much, the right hand, right hand can be inside the left foot. Toes and heels out. Toes and heels out. Make sure the edge of the foot press into the ground. Sit the nose higher. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Four, three, 
two, step back to plank or tabletop, you flow or just child pose. Find child pose for a moment, relax your head. Walk your hands to your feet to form a band on the back of the mat. Zip your legs together, zip your knees together, and lift your ten toes off the ground, sit down to chair pose. Sit down back, lift your arms higher, squeeze your legs, lift your toes. Sit down deeper, lift your arms higher, squeeze your ribs. And forward fold, exhale out. Standing up, shift your weights on your right leg, step your left foot to the left front corner of the mat. Put your arms to the sky, soften your left knee, press the left foot so you shift your weights on your right leg and entire torso leaning back. Avoid the back bend, bend your left knee deeper, keep your right leg strong. Stand your right foot farther back. So you can this leg for no reason. Stand your right foot back. Extend your arms back, triceps back, and then lean forward, shift your weight on your left leg, lift your right heel. Push your pelvis back, then put your arm and leg, let you fly, chin up. Squeeze your right foot, very good, keep going, keep going, stay there, awesome. Right foot next to left, chair pose, lift your arms to the sky, lift your ten toes, slip your legs together to feel straight. Lift your toes, don't sit on your knees, sit down on your chair. And forward fold, that's allowed. Squeeze your core. Open your feet wider apart, make the stance apart. Hands in between your feet, step your left foot far, far back to lizard. Keep your left leg short, straight, right knee is bent, great angle. Extend the pyramid lizard, both legs straight, sitting both high up. 
then lower your pelvis, slide your left knee down to open this up. Lower your pelvis, open right into the right as you lift your arch of the foot of the ground. Roll your shoulder blades back, you like open your chest a little bit more, maybe fingertips behind your ear, and reach your right arm back to feel the stretch on your hip crease. Wow. 
in Lakus pose. Lift your shoulders, lift your hands, lift your legs, lift everything but hips. And lower down. Lift up. And lower down. Hands by your sides. Fingers for the deep back. Fingers for the deep back. Back. Extend your arms back. Hands this here. And lift. Lakus here. Open your pelvis, allow the pelvis to relax. Entire body relax for a moment. And very slowly straight your legs behind you. And roll over on your back. Straight your arms over your head, legs in front of you, make full body stretch and allow your pelvis relax, entire body relax, inhale. And exhale, bring your right knee to your chest and grab your shin on under knee crease and squeeze your right shoulder, uh, right knee to your right shoulder closer. Try to avoid the rib cage. You can stay here or go to halfway happy baby if you like. Or keep the foot with your hand, but and hand on your shin, so you contract deeper everything to the center of your body. How does it look like? Grab your foot with your right hand, left hand on your right shin, and squeeze everything to the middle of your body on your shin. And bend your feet closer.
Breathe focus to your breath and only. Allow yourself to breathe. Enjoy the rest of the evening.